we just got a massive update for Call of Duty Warzone that kind of came out of nowhere. I don't think anyone was expecting this patch, but it introduced some cool new next-gen features for the PS5 and Series X, some gameplay changes including an RCXD, private matches and more. So we'll look at all that now as quickly as possible. So I'm lucky enough to already have a PS5 and Xbox Series X in my possession. I've already done a video playing Warzone on the PS5, but it was only after this patch today that it was actually available on the Series X. If you tried to load it before, it would just say it was incompatible and it didn't work. But in this patch today, the game now works on the PS5 and the Series X. And when I booted it up on both of those consoles after I'd updated, it asked me if I wanted to install a high resolution texture pack. So here it is on the PlayStation 5 and it says that this pack supports the most detailed textures for weapons and operators in Modern Warfare and Warzone. Recommended only for PS4 Pro and PS5 players with high resolution displays. I'm guessing that you could also get this on the Xbox One X. The download size for this is 25.06 gig so it will add some file size and the gameplay that you'll be seeing in this video is from the PlayStation 5 and the Series X. In terms of the upgrade, I think the textures are definitely higher quality. To me, it looks like the ultra settings on PC. So if you've got the option to download this and install it, you've got hard drive space, I'd say get it, why not? As for the PS5 and Series X versions of the game, as far as I know, these are still the backwards compatibility versions of the game. So if you've got a PS5, it's running the PS4 Pro version. And if you've got a Series X, it's running the Xbox One X version. And the reason I say that is because they don't really look that different, but you will get more stable performance and you probably won't see any resolution scaling. On the PS5 here, you can see the image at 4K isn't quite native. And as far as I can tell, this is the same as the PS4 Pro version, which renders at 2760 by 1528 so it's a bit of a softer image but the performance is just a solid 60 fps on the xbox series x it's a much sharper image i think this is native 4k again 60 fps it doesn't seem to skip a beat even in the more strenuous scenarios so at launch it looks like this is what you're going to get if you play warzone on next gen i'm a little disappointed in this to be honest because I was expecting there to be more options here, like an FOV slider perhaps, or a 120 FPS mode, but I assume that that stuff will come down the line and they'll add additions to the next gen versions. It's probably that they're just snowed under with trying to get everything out before the launch of these consoles, and they don't want to take the limelight away from Cold War, let it have its space, and then perhaps add more things to Warzone in the future. Because realistically, based on the new consoles, I think both of them could run at native 4K60 and be absolutely fine. I reckon they could probably offer a performance mode too, which rendered at 1440p and ramped the FPS up to 120. That would be super cool to see for the console players. As for the PS5 controller, some people did ask me about that because it's doing some really interesting things with the haptics and the vibrations on it. As far as I could tell, it was exactly the same as the PS4 Pro version, so no updates to the controller, although apparently Cold War will have some specific controller things. As for the file size, well, apparently this patch reduced all of the file sizes by around 25 gig, but of course, if you install that texture pack, it's going to add that 25 gig back on. So on my Xbox Series X here, the total for Warzone on its own is 104.3 gig and we can break that down as 80.7 for the base warzone game only and then 23.6 for that optional high res texture pack so i suppose that's good and it will save everyone some hard drive space Moving on, in this patch they also changed the way the operators work. If you go to that screen now, you'll see that there's no more factions in Warzone. And it's just a big carousel at the bottom, you can scroll through everyone. This is cool, I kind of like it because it means that if I select random, I won't have to pick a faction as my favourite and I'll just get a random operator every time. They also added a new operator in Sergeant Griggs. He's from the campaign. Griggs was also in the original Modern Warfare, but I don't know if it's technically the same character but he's in now. And if you do pick him up in the store or anything else for that matter, do consider using my code JackFrags in all capital letters, just like these guys have done and sent me the pics on Twitter. If you use my code, I'll get a bit of kickback. It's a great way to help support me. Thank you. Next up, private games. Yes, we finally have private games in COD Warzone. It's interesting how these work though. We've got the battle royale modes there, plunder and mini royale. 
So anyone can start a game up and it loads up a dedicated server, which is awesome to see. And then you can select which squad that you want to join. Unfortunately, you can't start the game on your own, which is a shame. I'd love to be able to do that to just explore the map and test stuff with a mate. But it's 50 players to start a main battle royale mode, 30 for plunder and 24 for mini royale. So this will be great for community games. Maybe if you've got a big clan, you could do a mini royale match. Also content creators, I'm sure will be using this to host game nights or whatever. And for esports competitive stuff, this means that instead of having those kill races where everyone joins random lobbies, queues up and tries to get as many kills as they can within a certain number of games and then whoever gets the most is the winner. Now they could potentially do proper competitive matches where everyone in the tournament is playing against each other. And for the sake of fairness, perhaps this is a better solution because the way that Warzone tournaments have been run in the past is that you just queue up with mates and you'll get a random lobby and some people could be getting easier lobbies than others also it would fix the problem of reverse boosting to cheat the skill based matchmaking system so you get easier games so perhaps in the future we could see some awesome esports games going on here where all the top players and teams are in the same game together of course the gameplay style would be quite different i don't know if it would necessarily be better to watch though because the kill races in public lobbies are kind of interesting because people play super aggressive and they try crazy things whereas if you've got everyone in a lobby together it might become a bit more slower paced and people camp more and they're just playing for the win it would be a different type of war zone to watch and play for sure but i'm sure that activision and cod will pump a load of money into esports tournaments using this private match system them. it's just a matter of time before that starts to happen there was also a new game mode that popped up in the barracks on the records just under mini royale here called rebirth i've got absolutely no idea what this is there's no stats on it yet so i don't know what this could be rebirth suggests something new whether that's a new map or a new part of the map i'm not sure what do you think that could be let me know down in the comments below and i saw this post on reddit too now i can't verify this because i haven't seen it myself in game but these screenshots look real to me and the guy posting it has got a good explanation of what happened here. Apparently they joined a game where there was a new contract called the Detection Contract. Once you pick it up, you get this little device called the Detection Counter, which looks and works a lot like the Heartbeat Sensor to be fair. And then it will give you a position of a special loot box to find. And if you find that loot box, you open it up and you'll get the RCXD from Black Ops. So this is the kill streak where you get the little remote control car and you drive it around and blow it up. Apparently it's got the same timeout though as the recon drone and this guy said that it feels a bit weird to drive and it can't go over train rails. Now there was no mention of that in the patch notes at all so I don't know if this has been done accidentally or it's been put in secret and they're just waiting for people to find it and talk about it but there it is. Those are the screenshots from Zedong. It looks real to me, kind of exciting. It feels like whatever this rebirth mode is plus the rcxd maybe they're gearing up for some kind of collaboration with black ops soon we know that in december the guns are going to start appearing in the game and perhaps there'll be a map change we'll have to wait and see and with that i think that's everything for now massive patch though awesome to wake up and just read all this stuff very cool i just love to see more additions to those next gen consoles because they can clearly do more than what's currently on offer here for the game but let me know your thoughts down below guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like if you didn't a dislike subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next one